Uh, okay. Uh, hey guys, it's been a while. Sorry, it's trying to pick up my face. This is a uh, really rushed and I know I probably shouldn't be doing rushed. If you guys want to go straight to the transformation video, it's right here. I'm using a new mic. That's why it's, that's why I'm like panicking right now. Cause I recorded this video a week ago and it's still not out yet. So it's like, Jesus. Quick little update for the channel. What you're going to be expecting for this year, 2023. I'm going to be doing reviewing clippers, uh, talking about the business and talking about what I look forward into uh, hiring people, like a bunch of different video ideas other than just hair transformation. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this, please subscribe. If you guys have any other questions, concerns, comment down below. Thanks, see ya. everyone we're gonna start the haircut off by going in with the number four with the grain we're gonna be going from the calyx side all the way down to the front hairline we're gonna be going in with the number four because we're still gonna curl the top of the hair at the end of the cut we're gonna be doing that by applying some gel and then curl sponge and then he'll get it as curly as he can with the number four after we go from a four with the grain we're gonna go to a number two against the grain on the side where you see me stopping is gonna be considered the ridge. We're gonna make the nice dark line so that way we don't go past that line or past that ridge. Once we're done creating the ridge with our number two and we debulked it as much as we could, we're then gonna go in with an open no guard. It's gonna be a medium skin fade. So we're gonna start in the middle of the temple. We're gonna be doing our open guideline first and you can see that um, lowering my guideline a little bit just so that way I can get right near the occipital bone. Once we get done with the open, we're then gonna go a finger length below that with a closed. That's gonna be setting up my guideline so that way we can lever play. All lever play is, is going in between an open and closed and trying to knock down the line as much as we can. But before we start the lever play, we're gonna be going in with our trimmers. We're gonna be going down to debulk it. And then we can go up once it's debulked. So that way we can get the hair as short as possible. So that way we can make our way to the balders. When we use the balders, we're gonna go down first with the foil shavers. We're gonna be making sure to use both sides. I have a babyliss with the two foils instead of just the singular. It gives you more power and it's also a lot easier to shave down to bald. Once we go down with the grain, we're then gonna go up. So now we're going to lever play. Just pay attention to how I'm using the blade and how slow I'm going, but also pay attention to how I'm barely moving my elbow and I'm mostly using my arms to flick out. The way I flick out the most is by keeping my elbows down tight to me and then also just using my wrist. You wanna make sure as you get to your guideline with the open that you flick out as much as you possibly can so you're not constantly hitting it so you don't wanna make a dark line. There are times where I won't flick out the times that I won't flick out is when I need to readjust my open guideline. Whenever I do lever play, I make sure to do one side first, just to gauge his skull structure. So that way, if one side fades out pretty easy, I can just mimic that on the other side. Going in here with the half guard or 1 16th guard, we're gonna be doing the same thing as we did when we first started the guideline for the skin fade. We're gonna be going in with an open, getting our guideline set for the one. As you can see now, we're gonna be corner notching a little bit, but also using lever play. Again, same thing, we're gonna go in with the one guard open, just to make sure that we get our guideline ready for the one and a half. 
I like going in open first because it gives me a visual representation of where not to go and have a guideline set so that way we can make it with the one and a half. A good thing about knocking the hair down with a two guard to debulk, we can now go in with the one and a half and it'll blend in pretty easily with the number two. Using the one and a half all across the head, we're gonna be lever playing with it as well. Once we did all we could with the guards, we're then going to be using one of my favorite techniques. We're going to be using shears. We're going to be using thinning shears and regular shears to knock down the line between the top half and the side. So basically the ridge line. We're going to start in with thinning shears to debulk it as much as we can. He's got nice, strong, curly hair. So we just want to knock those lines down to make them as straight as possible. After I go in with the thing shears, I then go in with my regular shears to knock down any extra hair that I see. The reason I don't just end it with thinning shears and I go back to my regular shears is because I wanna make sure that I cut any loose ends. Once the ridge is completely faded out, we then move into the hairline. My favorite technique for the hairline is going in with the middle and then going left or right. So if I go in middle and then left, I'll then hit the middle and then right afterwards. Once the hairline is sharp as possible, we then move into razoring the hair. The reason I go in multiple times with the hairline is to give it a nice ash line. After it's all said and done and the haircut is razored, this is gonna be your finished product. That being said, guys, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys want to see more content like this, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. Hopefully you learned something new. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the haircut. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.